I didn't expect the interview to go this way, but you mentioned, and I didn't know this, that you'd left the Labour Party because of of their uh, allegations of anti-Semitism. I am someone who's, I'm very wary now because the, the labels of racist get thrown around so much. I don't even automatically believe it. You know, when people call someone racist, I'm like, well, I, I don't know. Are they, are they not? But you're obviously someone who's been inside the party. So tell us, you know, what are, you, what are the, the reasons that you left? What are some of the evidence for, for these allegations? Well, what I, I don't think Jeremy Corbyn sits there thinking I'm an anti-Semite. I'm now going to do anti-Semitic things. I don't think that. So I don't think in that sort of conscious proud racism. Round up the Jews. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. I don't think any of that. I don't think that. I think his, he, he ends up being an anti-Semite out of a series of other convictions. So he believes that imperialism is the most important and potent force in world politics. He believes that America is a driving force of that imperialism. And he believes that American capitalism is a beneficiary of its conquests around the world. The most sort of notable imperial state in that analysis is Israel, because it's caught in the midst of a whole series of others, and, and it is oppressing when it's the puppies of America. And he's, that set of convictions, plus an exaggerated sense that this is the most important thing of all human history, leads him to a position of such hostility to what he would call Zionism, that he is then blind to what is overt anti-Semitism. So if you look at the mural on the wall, for example, he didn't see anything wrong. Anyone else would see it straight away. Sorry, could you just describe that a little bit, the mural was for a, our American there was a mural. Uh, a mural was painted on a wall in East London with a whole series of very blatant anti-Semitic caricatures uh, on it, all money lenders and usury, and it was all implying that the, the Jews, it was implying a world Rothschild-type Jewish financial conspiracy. And it was as clear as day that that's what was being depicted. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn shared that mural, a picture of that mural on the Facebook group, didn't really notice it. And so I think he's be, he becomes blind to those things. He also, because of that, he licenses the uh, entry into the Labour Party of people who really are overt, overtly anti-Semitic. So the, the, there's always been a very small minority of people on the hard left who are anti-Semitic. There always has been. I mean, I, I don't mean to imply by that there aren't some terrible racists on the right. Of course, there are thousands and you know, different types. But oh, well, hating but, Jews is a bipartisan issue. It, it, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. I mean, I mean, right now the Conservative Party's problem is more with um, Islam, yes. with Islam than it is with um, with Judaism. But you know, we're not choosing which we, which is the best racism. Mm. I think they're both quite bad. <laughs> um, but the one that which which I because I was a member of the Labour Party, this one is particularly pertinent to me, and so. Those people, those overt anti-Semites, are now members of the Labour Party, whereas once upon a time they weren't. And so I think the, the, the party has been really infected with this, and the response to it has been very, very slow. And I just felt, I don't have, it's not a once and for all thing, I can rejoin the Labour Party if and when this is eradicated as a problem, but I thought I don't want to be a member of it whilst this is there and not being taken seriously enough. So, so I, the, just I, don't mean, I don't mean to make a great fanfare of it, no. but I just think there we are. No, it's just I, re, I really wanted to ask you about it because it's something that we keep hearing about, but it, I'd never heard anyone sum, sum it up quite so succinctly and kind of explain what the allegations yeah. are, what's the substance behind Again, I them. think it's quite important to be as generous to <laughs> mm. the mm. people you're criticizing as you can. Um, you know, because I don't think it's, as I said before, I, I, I'm not accusing Jeremy Corbyn of being a racist. I think that's ridiculous. So I think everything I've said is compatible with his claim that he's an anti-racist campaigner. And of course he is in one sense and, and spent his life protesting against various oppressions and injustices. And I, I, don't, I don't want to um, wash away that record, but I just think he has a blind spot here where his various causes clash and it ends up in a position which I think is really dreadful. And I don't want to be a member of a party which has that feeling. So it's, the, it's a hard left sensibility which I just don't want to be part of the Labour Party. But it is. They are the governing force in the Labour Party. And you can either choose to stay there and try and win it back and engage in that fight. It's not my fight anymore because I'm not active in politics and I thought actually better off just to, to have the freedom to criticise by coming out.
and then I can be honest about it. You're outside the tent. I'm outside in. the tent. <laughs> yeah, pissing on it. Pissing yeah. on it. <laughs>